Badges are equipable items that change your ads and moves to your character that you can use, and there's 24 of them in total. They're quite a fun gameplay mechanic that adds some unique flavor to the controls and how the game is played depending on which badge you choose. Some are designed to help you in levels and being extremely useful, and others are just ridiculous useless garbage. But then there are expert badges that try to be different and creative, and they are uh, meh. The reason why I'm saying this is, I have played Mario Wonder a lot. Like a lot a lot. And I've noticed that I never really use the expert badges or even think of using them in a regular level. In fact, I even made a poll asking which type of badges do you rarely use and more than half of the votes were to expert badges. I want to be including the sound of badge in this discussion since it doesn't change anything about the gameplay. So we will only talk about Jitron, Spring Feet and the Invisibility Badge. Let's get to the biggest factor in their failure in my opinion, which is their purpose of being an optional challenge. Back then in other games, completing an optional challenge gave you a reward in some sort of way. The best example being in New Super Mario Bros. DS, where if you go through the effort to get enough star coins which are optional and difficult to get, the game lets you buy a wallpaper for the bottom screen, which is really cool. Or for example chasing Nabbit through the levels in New Super Mario Bros. U, which is quite a difficult task because of the speed he has and the obstacles in the levels, and if you catch him, the game gives you a peacorn, an OP power up that can only be obtained by doing that. And the reason why expert badges were as unsuccessful as Oreo trying to make a good new flavor is because they are an optional challenge with no optional reward that can push you into using them. They also don't provide a really interesting challenge with their abilities, especially with how minimum the amount of expert badges compared to the other types of badges. But don't get me wrong, the abilities they give are pretty decent and enjoyable to play with and I love that. Such as Spring Feet, a badge that makes you hop around non-stop. But I won't use it often because that's the only thing it offers. Unfortunately, the expert badges fell into one of Mario Wonder's biggest problems. Good ideas yet not good execution. The game has so many great ideas, but sometimes it feels like some of them were added without being applied in a way to add to the core experience very well. It's just that there's a big missed potential for these badges, which is quite disappointing in my opinion, since they could have made the game so much more fun and a little more difficult considering the game's difficulty being more on the easy side, which a huge amount of people didn't like at all. Even after you complete the game 100%, there's little reason to go back and actually use them, but let's stop complaining a little bit. How can Mario Wonder make the expert badges a fun challenge? There's actually plenty of solutions, but I'll just pick the best ones in my opinion. First, I think that some hidden tough sections that contain 10 flower coins, a helpful rare badge or secret exits being specifically built around the expert badges would have made them so much usable, maybe even having some secret wonder seeds so that the player doesn't have to go to poplin houses for no reason. Why did they do that? And the second solution is beating the castle levels in the KO arenas with all of the expert badges and then you get some reward like a helpful rare badge or another more interesting expert badge in return. Or maybe the player can earn extra flower coins the first time they complete a level with each expert badge. Pretty simple ideas to fix this problem. All that should have been done was given optional reasons for using the expert badges. And by the way, it only took me one minute to get these ideas. They could have been implemented in a better way way that wouldn't have only made the badges more fun and more useful but would have improved the game as well. But what do you think about the expert badges? Was I right? Tell me in the comments and also like and subscribe.